morning class. Good morning, sir. I have some instruments with me. I take it you know this one. That is a ruler. I have this one. What is the name of this one? Tape measure. Tape measure or measuring tape. I brought a different uh, measuring instrument to the class. Then I asked the learners to name those instruments. And guys, uh, what do we use all this to do? What the ruler, the meter wheel, the measuring tape. We use it to measure. What do we measure with this? We measure distance. So you need to make them interested in the lesson. So I brought those tools so that they can ask themselves before I even start with the lesson. What are we going to do today? It seems interesting. Which units can we find on the ruler? Centimeter and millimeter. I also asked the learners about the units on those instruments, like the, on the ruler, it's obviously we have centimeters and millimeters, and then on the meter wheel, they know it's a meter, and uh, on the measuring tape, centimeters and meters. The main focus of the lesson, we were going to measure the perimeter. Now, what is perimeter? When we measure and find the distance around the object, we are saying that we are finding or we are determining perimeter. The learners are used to the classroom uh, environment. So by taking them outside, I knew it's a different environment for them. Then they would get interested and they would want to know exactly what's going on from the start until the end of what we were doing. Will be the start of our measurement zero, then Sfiso, we will go to the other side. All right, we will take the measurements in meters. Uh, obviously the girl they know uh, netball, the boys they know soccer. So what I wanted them to grasp was that um, a netball field is rectangular in shape which means you have four sides which means you have four dimensions and then after measuring you have to reconcile your measurements. We do that by adding those four dimensions. What shape is the netball court here? The shape is rectangle. And then how many sides does it have? It has four sides. So we were measuring around the netball court. As you have seen outside on the uh, netball and soccer field, we measured in centimeters and in meters. Make sure it's on zero is on the same place that you were before. Then roll it. This must be here. Okay, then what is the measurement? 11. 11 what? Meters. We are measuring in meters now, so it's 11 meters. Do we have to take the measurement for the other two sides? If we have the measurement for these two sides? No, because we, we, we match this side and this side because of this side is the same, same meter and that side and that side is the same meter in, with the side. Why is this side the same as that one and this side the same as that one? Because of it's a rectangle. All right, we are finished in taking measurements of the netball field and the soccer field. So we are going to the class and then we are going to add their perimeter. So uh, in the classroom, I wanted something smaller so that they know that perimeter can be measured using uh, centimeters and also uh, millimeters. I also uh, introduced the concept of area. Remember we said perimeter is the distance around, okay, a shape. So, the distance around that is from here, <coughs> then I go down, okay. That is my? Perimeter. 
So the purpose of coloring was uh, to say to them, think about these two concepts, its area is perimeter. On that sheet, which do you think is perimeter and which do you think is area? So I think it was simpler because uh, all of them understood that uh, we are to color perimeter in blue and area, then they colored those uh, small squares inside the shape. In conditions, it would be easy for them to uh, calculate the perimeter and area just from the given shapes because they would have grasped the concept that for perimeter we add the four dimensions that are given and then for uh, area then we have to uh, multiply the two dimensions that are, are given.